Load your firearm and make ready. Fire at will. At a gun range in Maryland, a class of black students and gun owners are training to get their concealed carry permits. It's just one of many classes of mostly black students training here almost every day. This is the first time in history I can say that uh, this amount of black owners has come into effect, but also we never really had access to doing so. In 2020, black people made up the largest increase in gun purchases out of every major racial demographic. Then in June 2022, the Supreme Court expanded gun rights by striking down a New York law that limited who could receive a concealed carry permit. The ruling affected several other states with strict gun laws, including Maryland. There, concealed carry applications and handgun purchases surged in weeks following the ruling. Between June 23rd and July 11th, 5,314 new people applied for concealed carry permits, compared to just 609 the year before. Wow, business has been crazy since June. Classes have gone from five to 10 people to 30 to 40 people. The Supreme Court ruling has really changed things in a, in a sense that everyone is now trying to get their concealed carry permit. They are taking a lot of classes, uh, buying a lot of concealed carry handguns. I own a Glock 19X. Same exact slide length as a 19, which makes it easier to conceal. That's why I chose it. While black gun ownership is on the rise, Gun sales spiked amongst all demographics during the coronavirus pandemic. Sales remained high through the protests that followed the police murder of George Floyd and the attack on the U.S. Capitol. With everything going on in the world and the way things are, it's really been one of those things where people want to protect themselves. They want to feel safe, and this gives them a way to be able to sort of take that and have their own power, right? To be able to protect themselves, to be able to protect their families and their loved ones, and to know that they have that option. When uh, we have a critical situation, that person's moving into your direction. They may trip, they may, they may rush you. So you gotta be ready to. Galen Muhammad is a firearm safety instructor. He teaches his classes, often of mostly black students, how to safely respond to police encounters like traffic stops while legally carrying a firearm. What we do is we present ourselves as least of a threat as possible. As we went over last week about what to do, how to respond when the police responds to a situation where we are, where we're armed. This is called a range walk. I'm thankful that most times they react the same. You know, black person is treated the exact same way that the white person is treated. And again, that's why I say I'm pro-police and I applaud that. But it's, that, it's those times where they don't treat us the same. Therein lies the problem. Slide in, you put your magazine in, take your slide. Let it go. Just let it go. I tell my students, we're still not gonna create static where there is none, even though, or even if the police is creating static. You just need to give what's asked of you and that's it. So it's that simple. Because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to avoid all problems and make it home to my family. Black gun owners who spoke to the Post said that there can be a negative stigma attached to owning a firearm. But they also said that the culture around gun ownership is changing in their communities. Black people, when we have firearms, we're demonized in the media. So anytime that a black person has a firearm, they're looked at as a bad guy, or they're going to point the finger and say, yeah, this person isn't fit to own firearms. So because that's been the narrative for so many years and all the propaganda has been pushed for years and years, black people have been shied away from firearms. We as black people were always told it's not a good idea. There's always that nigga, like, people always assume something bad when you have a gun, right? You don't get that benefit of the doubt. So we're going to make sure everybody's qualified. It's still a pass. <laughs> I mean, either way you want to look at it, it's a pass, so you're good. Now that uh, you have more black people owning firearms, that's going to change the perspective of people uh, owning firearms because now that they see, okay, when you have this group of people who previously looked at as demonized or they weren't fit to own firearms, now that you see them demonstrating proper gun safety, uh, proper gun uh, use and efficient skills, that's going to allow people to change that narrative. Fire at will. <laughs> 